Over 500 people from 19 different countries will be traveling to the coastal Israeli city of Ashdod next month to take part in the 15th International Dance Sport Championships. Now, joining us in the studio is Boris Odikadze, the president of the Israeli Dance Sport Federation. Thank you so much for coming in. Now, I love what you guys are doing. Tell us about this event. What kind of dancing are we going to be seeing? We are going to look to see the uh, European uh, standard dancing, ballroom dancing, and Latin American dancing also. My favorite. I used yeah. to, I actually used to do some uh, ballroom and land dancing when I was a kid, so I have a deep appreciation for this. Yeah. So yeah, so tell us about the styles. You say Latin dancing as well. This is two disciplines in competition programs, okay. so standard and Latin, and we have about maybe 20 different categories in the, a, a group of age. And uh, we have not 19 already, I have uh, the new information, we have uh, 23 countries oh, even at, more. The, okay. at the moment. We confirmed already and everything is going to be very, very nice. Absolutely. Well, I, I cannot wait to see this myself. This I love this. Now, how it's funny because you don't necessarily think of Israel when you think about this type of dancing. Um, yet Israel is having an international championship take place here, right? So, so what, could tell us about Israel's kind of relationship with this sport. But as you said, this is the 15th edition of right, our competition mm -hmm. in Ashdod. Only in Ashdod. And uh, during this, all these years, Ashdod Open was including also the European and World Professional Championships. Yeah. yeah so uh, we have a big experience and we have a long history already. Mm -hmm. Because Israel as a WDSF, a World Dance Sport Federation member country, is very active country. We are taking part in all European and wow, world championships no in different ages and categories. For example, two weeks ago we had a bronze medal in world championship, ah. 10 dance uh, under 21, and one week ago we had the semi-finalist on the European championship, also 10 dance in youth categories. Well, I think the hope is that the next story that we cover about, uh, about this type of dance sport uh, will be Israel winning another medal, right? That's yes, a hope. because, uh, you know, it, it was for example, most successful was 2015 years. We had a six couples semi-finalists of one European oh, championship, amazing. two couples finalists, and one world champion. Couple. All right. Well, for those of our viewers who are interested in checking out uh, what's going to be happening in Ashdod, what date is it? This is uh, December 9th and 10th. December 9th. December 9th and 10th. All right. Yes. Thank you so much for joining us, Boris. And Thank you. Congratulations. Looking forward to seeing this. Thank you very much.